It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. I think it's time for us to get a little analytical. So I'm hoping we can explore the world of Agile through a different set of eyes today and talk about how it can actually help your team achieve better results. But I want to think about Agile in a different frame of reference today. This week, I'm spending a lot of time here at Universal Studios Orlando doing some training and coaching, and it's been totally exciting, wonderful time. So today, uh, as a tribute, I want to talk about how Agile is like a roller coaster. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there thinking to yourself, okay, what does Agile have to do with roller coasters? But bear with me for a second, because there's definitely some striking similarities between the two. First, let's think about the structure of a roller coaster, right? It's made of a series of ups and downs, twists and turns, unexpected drops, thrills, loops. Similarly, Agile is about bracing change and uncertainty. Just like a roller coaster, Agile projects are full of unexpected twists and turns and inversions. Teams need to be able to adapt to changing circumstances, and leadership needs to understand that in order to have the best experience, we can't just complain about every twist or turn that happens. We can't complain about every single thing that happens on the ride. If you're on a roller coaster, you're there because you are there for the unexpected twists and turns. So I think it's important for us to embrace that change is necessary in order for us to really get the most out of our roller coaster experience. All right. Another similarity has to do with the need for collaboration. On a roller coaster, let's face it, I don't think you're ever riding alone. This is, a, I hope not at least, this should be a shared experience with other people. Similarly, agile projects require a high level of collaboration between team members and between people riding. Agile teams need to work closely to ensure that everyone is moving in the same direction, that everyone is aware of what's going on, that everyone's having a good experience, and that we're able to present the findings of our sprint to people who can, who can see that all that planning wasn't for naught. All right, speaking of planning, another similarity is the importance of planning. Before you get on a roller coaster, you should probably know what you're getting yourself into because there's many different types of roller coasters that are all different. You need to know, you know, you need to know how the roller coaster is going to perform, whether it's fast or slow, if it has inversions, if there are any weight restrictions, height restrictions, if it's going to be tight, if it's going to feel right. Now, the team at Universal does a fantastic job of putting a seat, a practice seat outside of every one of their coasters so that you can sit in it to get a, a good hunt, a, a hint for how it's going to feel, a hunch, so that you can tell whether or not it's going to be uh, perfect for you, how it's going to feel while you're on the actual coaster. So you get to experience the off-ride feeling of the seat before you actually get on. Similarly, Agile teams need to plan carefully to ensure that they're on track and that they're meeting their goals. This planning always takes place in the form of sprints, retrospectives, daily scrums. What we do is we constantly find a way to inspect and adapt. We want to make sure that we're doing what's right and that we are understanding how our work impacts other people and how other people's work impacts us. So it's, it's a two-way street. Love is a two-way street, right? Finally, both roller coasters and agile projects require trust. When you get on a roller coaster... You know, you're putting the trust in the engineers and operators who built that ride and maintain that ride. Similarly, Agile teams, they need to trust each other to do their jobs effectively and to work together. Without trust, it's impossible to achieve a level of collaboration and communication that's needed to make Agile work. I'm going to throw one more in here that I just thought of. I would argue that just like a roller coaster, Agile is intended to be fun. Many people who try Agile for the first time, much like a roller coaster, find it scary because they don't know what to expect, or they find themselves so worried about what do I do or what's going to happen next. I think part of enjoying a roller coaster or part of enjoying Agile is to figure out what you need to do to be effective and to let action take place, to let nature take its course. I think that if you let things go, just like a roller coaster, you're going to find that you can be happy, that everyone around you can enjoy it. And that it's going to be a good experience. And that after you ride it once or twice, you'll probably want to ride it again. And that's what's so beautiful. And each time as you grow less, less nervous or less anxious about riding, you have a completely different experience. You'll be able to enjoy the thrills and you'll be able to enjoy how the roller coaster is constructed and what the 
experience was meant to be for someone who's riding the attraction. So there you have it. That's how Idols Like a Roller Coaster. Both require adaptability, collaboration, planning, and trust. But unlike a roller coaster, agile projects don't necessarily have to be scary or unpredictable. It's only the first time that you do it where it's a little bit unpredictable. With the right mindset and approach, Agile can help your team deliver better results and achieve their goals. That's going to do it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Daily Stand-Up Podcast. If you have uh, an idea for an episode that you'd like to share with us, please feel free to reach out. Learn more at AgileDad.com. We'd love to hear from you. As always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.